Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Townsman, one of the many games that is coming out for some reason just after Thanksgiving that I am now going to play. And actually, you know, this actually, this actually looks really nice. I don't know, it looks like a town building game. So we're gonna play as such. Oh my god, there are things. There's scenarios. There's six pages of scenarios here. And then some kind of infinite sandbox mode. I, mm. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to just do a tutorial and then throw myself into sandbox mode. But I think I'm going to go through every scenario first. Let's see how the game goes. If the game is good, then we'll know exactly what we're going to do. Okay, tutorial. This is a tutorial map. Here you'll be introduced to the world of Townsman. Small, difficulty, easy. This guy... That mustache. Alright, some decorations are more effective at increasing happiness than others. Larger populations need more decorations to maintain the same level of happiness. Interesting. What are we going to name this town? We're going to name this town, um... Um... Dumpsville. Dumpton. Dumpton. Alright, welcome to Dumpton. Welcome to the tutorials. Now you will learn the basics of townsmen. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so we have a house. A townhouse. Its happiness needs... Kind of reminds me of Lethys, actually. Actually, it looks really nice. Move the camera to the edge of the... Yeah, okay. So, we've already we've already figured this shit out. Yeah, this reminds me of, like, Lethys. Lethys, Path of Progress, in a lot of ways. Castle is your most important building. X is your first warehouse. And you can assign townies to be carriers here. Okay, so what do we do? I don't know. We can get people and do this, maybe? I don't know. On the upper right side of the screen, you can see how much prestige and thaler you have, as well as the number of unassigned townies and your town sign. Important uh, town size. Important messages are shown in the upper left. Okay. So it's daytime. To speed up time, you can fa use the fast forward feature right over here. You just received your first quest. Your town needs wood. Enter the build menu and look for the forester's hut. Okay. So we have... What's this? So the, this is quest and this is build menu. So forester's hut. Buildings can be built by expending either resources or prestige. Resources have to be transported to the construction site for the construction to proceed. This takes time. Using prestige, on the other hand, is instantaneous. Okay. Please tell me prestige is not something I have to, like, cash shop in. Drag the building to the desired location. I guess I'm just going to c commit to that. Okay. No, this is prestige. Okay, I was going to be a little bit worried that this game was going to cash shop me. Okay, most quests will reward you with prestige. Open the quest log to collect your rewards. Uh, so we get 20 food and 6. Gotcha. You should now build another townhouse to increase your population. However, since you lack workers to do this, you need to unassign a worker from the forester's hut. Tap the forester's hut to open the building's menu and then tap the worker icon. So this is a, uh... This is a... Definitely a mobile game. To some degree. Okay. So we have unassigned a worker from building. Your reward. Goody. This is not going to be re repetitive in the slightest. With your freed-up worker, you can now build another townhouse. Okay. Build it. Or I could build with prestige right here, because there we go. Okay. As long as you have unassigned townies, your construction sites will be manned immediately. Now, go and get your reward for the quest lock. It really does feel like I'm playing a mobile game. Or like a web-based game. I should see if it's actually one of those beforehand. Each townhouse increases the number of available workers. Yeah, so we've gone from two to four. Okay, so we might as well turn this back on for the time being. Buildings without workers assigned to them are dormant. Give more workers to continue production. You should assign a new worker to the forest hut, the forester's hut. Which... Okay. In townsmen, male tannies work as carriers, resource producers, and craftsmen. While the townettes... See the keeping the home stocked with food, water, and luxury goods. Okay, are we already done with this quest? Okay, good. 
Some of these icons I don't understand, but whatever. Now you have to take care of your tiny's needs and desires. All important information can be found in the t statistics menu. The needs of your townies are food and water. In addition to that, your townies have desires. The happiness value is the sum of all needs and desires. You should always keep an eye on your ha townies' happiness. Okay. So they want more things. We have two out of four, not much. No military, resources, trade, can't do that. Okay. I'm just gonna close out of this until we get more tutorial-y stuff. Unless we have none. Okay, here we go. Fisherman's huts. Supply your village with fish as a food resource. Build a fisherman's hut to satisfy our need for food. Okay. I'm just going to throw prestige at this. Oh. Oh, that's really strange. I have to... Yeah, this is a mobile game. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll just build that first. You know what? I want to look at this, actually. Okay, so people are angry at me. Go figure. I guess we need some more things. But I, I want to look at this. Is this game... Is this game a mobile game already? Or is it a... I All I know is that the game is coming out on the 30th. I don't know what the price is. I don't know really who even made this. I just thought it looked neat, but... If if it's a mobile game, that kind of hurts it a little bit. Not that it's like that big of a deal, but still. Yeah, so apparently it's actually been on the um uh it's been on the mobile market for quite a while now, actually. So Prestige is a uh is definitely like a cash shop thing. However, in this, uh because the PC version, cash shop doesn't exactly go over so well. So, they've transitioned it over to more of like a quest reward. Easier to get your hands on kind of thing. I guess it makes sense, but still. Okay, so how long has this been on the mobile market? Um... Hell if I know. I... Okay. Well, it was updated on November 24th. It's made by Handy Games. Okay. Huh. It's a German studio. Okay. Well, anyway. The well supplies your village with water. Build well to satisfy our need for water. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm just gonna build it like right here or something. I don't know. It's awkward. They didn't exactly program things over particularly well. Uh, you know, I want to take a look at this. So how much does a well require? So it requires 10 of each of these resources. Wood planks, wood, stone, gold. Okay. So how much of those do we have? How do we know what our stockpile is for these things? Let's see. Ah. This is how we know. This is awkward. I'd like to actually see these resource counts. Uh, instead of, like, just having this awkward kind of useless... Like, I really need, like... These are useful, useful information, I'll grant, but, like, it seems like needing these other building resources is kind of in incredibly necessary, and the fact that I have to go into this uh, castle menu just to find it is really awkward. And not so great. Wait, what? Why is there... Oh, taxes. Okay. Well, let's see. So, water, we definitely need more of. This is why we probably should just hit things with prestige. It looks like we also have science and stuff. Research. So, research will increase things. Buildings. More house, more warehouse storage, food buildings. Okay. Finance, population, military. Okay. I guess we'll figure out what that does later. And EXP is the exact same tab. All right, so let's next time I'll make the uh, the well instantaneously. Anything where it's a resource, I definitely need more of. Should probably get done uh, as fast as possible. Maybe. <laughs> okay, your townhouses regularly pay taxes. The amount of Thaler generated depends on happiness and tax rate. 
Tap the coins with the townhouses to collect taxes. I do really wish it was one of those where they at least tried to mask the fact that it was a mobile game first. Because, like, it doesn't take much to make it so instead of, like, panning the screen around to put your thing down, you'd just have, like, a grid would pop up and you could select where it was and maybe you could drag around as necessary. And instead of the word tap, you could at least switch it over to click. I don't know, I feel... I... I, I feel like uh, I'm picking the wrong hill to die on here, but it's kind of annoying when you're playing a, a PC game and m like, you know, a couple of minutes in you find out, oh, this was, this, this is in fact a mobile game. And it just, it, it, it makes you kind of feel like uh, you're getting kind of leftovers here, I guess. Anyway, uh, whatever. The build, uh, the better you are at fulfilling your townies' needs and desires, the happier and more productive your townies will be. Happier townies can also be taxed higher without incurring too much protest. Okay, so if the we have that, we get more money. Icons that are displayed over buildings and the alert messages will inform you of lack of storage space and other problems. Yeah. Okay. So storage capacity is 500 global stock. Halfway there. I'm gonna queue up a second uh, person to carry things around. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I can't build anything because the tutorial won't let me. That's annoying. Build two, okay, yeah, I was about to build two additional uh, townhouses. And yeah, I'm just gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw prestige at this. So this goes faster. I'll have to figure out a better system. Hopefully stuff doesn't like burn down in this. Probably will, I don't know. Anyway. Like it looks nice actually. This is not a bad looking game, it's just... Mobiles! Mobile ports! I don't know, whatever. Anyway, resources and goods are temporarily stored in st production buildings until they're either used for production or transported to the warehouse. So I can take a look at this. So this will generate... Two fish-ish? Can I upgrade it? I can, but I gotta finish the tutorial first. Never mind then. Okay, what's this? You can bolster tax revenue by increasing the tax rate. However, keep an eye on how the tax rate affects happiness and productivity. Here you can see all your store resources. Available goods from the main storage are shown to the left. Wares stored in the buildings are shown to the right. Only goods that have been transported in the main storage can later be sold at the marketplace. Okay. So this would be the marketplace that we'd have to build. Well, that's fine. Yeah, people always get grumpy at me for... Um, I don't know. Uh, there, there's a common problem with uh, Let's Players. Oh, here we go. Some buildings use resources to produce goods to speed up building a sawmill. Use the instant build feature. You can also use Prestige to instantly complete a construction site by tapping the appropriate icon in the context menu for the site. Oh, interesting. Good to know. So one wood becomes three, three lumber. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing the context thing. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. The sawmill is part, part of a production chain that turns wood logs into planks. Later you will encounter more complex production chains. Go figure. Yeah, so this kind of makes me think of a, a really like dumbed down banished. Uh, but I was talking about like a problem with Let's Players. A lot of people get like really tired of Let's Players not reading tutorials and shit and being like really grumpy about things. There's nothing here I can build. Um, okay, happier when you build a marketplace for them. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna throw all of my prestige at this. Uh, this is really awkward dragging my screen around. Apparently I also can't build in the, um, I can't build in like near the edges of the map? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Let let me finish my rant and then it'll continue on. So a lot of people get like grumpy at Let's Players when they don't play the tutorial or know how to play. I also have a lot of people that get really grumpy at me for playing the tutorial to learn how to play. I guess I could always do it off camera, but it's... <sighs> then I get people grumpy at me because I'm not explaining how the game works. I don't know. I This has just been a more common problem recently. Uh, in, in some of the games that I've been playing, and it's just like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, damned no matter what you do. Anyway, uh, so, at the marketplace you can trade goods when a merchant is in town, however his stock will be limited. The market is also a place where townettes go to pick up jewelry and clothes if available. Okay. So what do we have? What's this? Repair the building. Interesting. 
Didn't realize we had to worry about upkeep. So... This is what he has. This is what I have. No, 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 no. This is what he has. Okay. Not that it's particularly helpful. I'm pretty wealthy. Well, let's not sell any of my bread, because I don't actually have the uh, ability to make any of that. So, yeah, I can sell wood, lumber, everything. But honestly, I'm just going to sell fish. Because I can, I can sell fish pretty easily. Okay, what else can I make? I don't think it's even going to tell me. Let's pick up that reward. We get clothes. We get jewelry. You should sell some goods at the marketplace. Uh, keep an eye out for the merchant icon. Informs you when the merchant is in town. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's make sure we have the quest first. Earn 50... Yep, so I should not have sold those fish. Oh, well. There we go. I can sell yet more fish. There we go. When you're low on money and have a surplus of goods, you can sell some of the goods to make some quick thaler. Yep. This is, this is kind of easy. Roads speed up the speed up the transport of goods and resources, but you plan the cur their construction wisely. Now build some roads in your town. Okay, roads. Move the markers to. Oh, okay. So for once, things don't feel stupid. I can actually, like, I can actually, like, plan my road here without having to, like, do this weird tap and drag nonsense. Well, I mean, it's still kind of that way, but it's not nearly as, as bad as it was earlier. Yeah, because if I if I could control it kind of like this, it's still weird having the the two markers and not not being able to be like, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay. But that's probably good enough. I think I think that's all the road we can build. Okay, get rewarded. So we got that. In addition to public buildings like the marketplace, your townie's happiness is also increased by town decorations. This is the tutorial that never ends. Alright, I'm just going to build her right here. The more townies you have, the more decorative objects you need to keep up happiness. I'm just going to have this woman. All in one line, actually. Ha! Huh. Funky. Okay, so we've built a deco statue. As your town grows, the risk of a fire breaking out is increasing. You should build a fire tower to be prepared. The fire tower has a limited range. Firefighters can only put out fires that are within range. Place the fire tower at a location where it covers as many buildings as possible. So there's fire, so this is just going to be a Caesar-like. My favorite. Okay, well, I'll keep it right here, I think. See, I like that grid because it actually lets me see where I'm placing it, kind of, sort of. Anyway, your townies will leave burning buildings and wait uh, for the flames to be put out. When the flames are not... But after some time, the building will collapse. Well, let's grab our taxes and let's build a second fire tower. Mainly because it seems like we are cur currently experiencing a bit of a bit of an emergency. Okay, it looks like we've got a couple of these guys. Oh, interesting. I can I can pay prestige to extinguish all burning buildings. The, wow, this game must be a cash shop nightmare normally. I mean, it looks nice. I, I like the artwork. The animation is good. The building design is, is good. It's just I my inherent uh, distaste for mobile games uh, is showing through with every every detail I come across. Like, I can definitely see this being fun. It's just like... Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well. I mean, it, it actually really does seem like a well-designed game comparatively. Okay, when not regularly maintained, buildings deteriorate and may even catch fire. You can identify deteriorated buildings by their grimy appearance. Tap on a building to access the building's menu and use the prepare icon to prepare the building. This gets pricey.
Okay, is everything else good? Not you. There we go. Okay. Housing conditions affect your tiny's happiness and productivity. Unhappy villagers are less productive and sometimes they even go on strike and refuse to work. Okay, well, I'm doing my best here. Luckily, these quests kind of pay for itself. Though, I'm not entirely sure if those count for sandbox mode. I don't know, anyway. Now it's time to turn your attention to your tiny's desires. How about constructing a church to satisfy their desire for religious life? Uh, yeah. And I'm just going to keep throwing... Wait, what? Okay, now it's... What? Now it's letting me do the... The actual click and drag. That's confusing. Each type of bu public building addresses a different wish of your townies. There are several public buildings. For example, a church, tavern, or the jousting grounds. Alright, well, let's grab this. Your town looks very nice. You can save a screenshot by... T no, fuck that. Are you serious? That's dumb. Please don't. What the hell? All right. Once the tutorial once the tutorial is over, you can demolish a building from the building's menu. Depol demolishing a building retrieves some of the resources that you used to build it. Decorations, forests, and roads can be removed by activating the shovel mode by swiping over the object you want to remove. Or we click this. Goody. The tutorial actually had me take a screenshot. What the hell? Okay, don't forget to keep an eye on the statistics menu to stay current on your tiny's needs and desires. Yes. Disease... Not okay. We already know about this. But, like, where do we see our, like, specific desires? We don't really have one. Oh, here we go. So there's multiple pages here. So we need a tavern, clothes, jewelry... Jousting grounds, yeah. But, oh, okay. So we can actually build some of these. I don't know how many of them are going to be actually buildable, but whatever. Okay. Well. Uh, let's see, this concludes the tutorial. Scenarios, how do I want to proceed? Back to the menu. Okay, so there's military, but honestly, I think at this point, I kind of want to just start a, uh, a new, uh, let's do, let's do Green Valley. Do I want to play the military tutorial first? Nope, I'm going to learn. Uh, we'll do Threat of Bandits on. I'll, I'll figure out military, or I won't, I don't know, it might backfire on me. I, I'm still kind of on the wall. Uh... Let's see, I'm still kind of on the wall about this game, just because there's kind of the inherent distaste. Okay. Uh, I have the inherent distaste for uh, several things. Can I pause this? I cannot. Okay, so what do we need first and foremost? Uh, we are producing actually nothing. What is this then? It's a forester's hut. So we do have one one thing nearby. Okay, well, let's start by making a... Uh... What? Okay. Let's start by making... Wait, we have a fisherman's hut. Okay, let's start by making a well. No, we have a well. Okay. This is confusing. They're not kidding about the whole, like, kind of is a pain in the ass planning this entire area out. Well, I'm just going to go with housing row for the time being. What's this? Oh, that's the construction site. Well, let's see what this, this wanted board is, but it doesn't look like it can do anything with it. Oh, interesting! Level is based on uh, just basic gameplay, so the more I, I play this, the more levels I get. And by getting levels, presumably it'll give me upgrades, like... Warehouse storage, or more tax income. Decreased repair costs. Oh, interesting. 
I guess I'll start doing this. Can't afford that research. Well, I might as well throw some prestige at it. I really hope they don't force me to buy more, or buy this. Ah, we do have a quest though. Donation to the poor. We need bread. Okay, can I do that? How do we do? Decorations, we've got trees and stuff. Okay, this isn't what I'm looking for. How do we make bread? The answer is this. But it requires a windmill. Okay, what's the windmill require? A farm. What's the farm require? That's a pig farm. This is a farm. That's an herb garden. Is this a farm? Farm requires a sawmill. So, sawmill. Okay, we can build a sawmill. Awesome. So I can build all the way out here. Or we can build it a little bit closer to home. Not much closer to home. Okay. So I guess I can do keyboard and mouse for at least a number of this. It's just a little awkward. Well, I'm going to call this probably good enough just because it's a little bit closer and we'll go from here. Okay. Uh, construction site, no worker. So I'm going to put a worker on that, put a worker on that. Do we have a worker here? Yeah, we do have a, a fisherman. And do we have infinite well and we have infinite that. Okay. This feels a bit better. This is... Oh, there's seasons and everything. Yeah, so honestly, I'm actually pretty positive about this game. I would have been, I think, a lot more positive if it actually had started as a PC game. Uh, if only because, I don't know, uh, I guess, as usual, I'm always a little bit grumpy about um, mobile games. Uh, for better or worse, I don't know. I really wish you would tell me if I'm if I'm actually gaining in fish here or if I need to worry about things. Well, we'll deal with that for... Uh, we'll deal with that later. And I'm not actually going to throw any prestige at any of these things. Uh, now that we know it's kind of a limited thing, I really should not have thrown all that prestige at the tutorial. Okay, let's see. New quest. Hi. Um, festival for the townies. So by doing these, we get uh, we get prestige. Well, that's ni nice at least. Hopefully those quests kind of just stick around and last. I do wish the music kept going, though, while we're in fast-forward mode. Uh, just because it's a little it's a little strange in my opinion. So what's the difference here? Speed 115 unlocks bridges eh, Both unlock bridges Really? What kind of weird limitations are these and why am I having that fuck? God damn it. Why am I having the hardest time selecting these roads here? Okay. I guess that'll have to do. I'm not exactly okay with this infinite, uh, this free build mode. I'd almost rather it be like totally randomly generated. Oh well. Alright, so we had one for this. Oh, but we already have it. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, so we've, we've got that set up. Honestly, we need resources first. So we could do a hunter's cabin. I got one more person. We could build it. Uh, what else can I make here? Can't do the sawmill because we need a farm. Farms are ridiculously large. Wow. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to put it all the way out down here. We do have the whole threat of bandits thing to worry about. I'm a little bit worried about losing. Um... But I'm not entirely sure how bad that's going to be. Okay, can I upgrade this thing? Production buildings level 2. 
So we're running, we're gonna need another Forester, probably. I guess in this case, I'm gonna turn down one of the cargo guys, and we're gonna make another Forester hut. I think. Okay, good. There's just enough space for a second one of these. And that should help out a lot. I could also throw some prestige at this, but I don't think I want to do that. Alright, so we got a little bit of taxes. People are not happy, but they're not terrible either. I don't really care too much about the tax rate, though. Eh, we're running a little bit low. Okay, let's, let's speed up time a bunch. And actually, while we're at it, build another house. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not going to have any room elsewhere apart from these spots. So I'll just do that. I'm going to take off the worker here and move it to this house. We need We need people first and foremost. Okay, it doesn't look like we got any taxes. Whoa, quest complete? Oh! We just have to fulfill the requirements. Oh, no, we have to deliver the goods. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit, because I am poor as dirt. And as much as I'd like to turn in some of those, we're gonna have a, a, a bad day otherwise. Okay. So we've got a little bit of money here. We have a new quest. Did all of these quests require money? No. Trade animals to the market. It's a pittance of prestige, but uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, so the sooner we finish this house, the sooner we get a couple more people. Uh, that we're going to need the farm to actually keep up with things. And I'll probably want to make another well. Come to think of it, let's let's do that quick. Because the sooner we have a well, probably the better. I'll just slap it there. Not in a huge rush. But I'm in a... You know. Okay. Might as well extend my roads to every building. Not that it matters. Yeah, so this really does remind me of like a super cartoony, probably easier version of Banished. Uh, in a lot of ways. And, I mean, it makes sense. It is a mobile game. So, of course, it's going, going to have kind of similar mechanics along the way. It's not bad, though. Uh, it, it really does fall in the same line as Banished. Let this path of progress. Maybe a little bit... Uh, a little bit too easy? Hard to say exactly on that one. I, I guess my, my judgment is always a little bit skewed. Um, though I do actually really enjoy easy games. Okay. Like, I, I actually really like, you know, easy casual experiences that I don't have to, like, go wildly out of my way for. I will say, I think I'm going to be... Um, I will probably be uh, switching things around. Okay, I just want to take a look at this. So we've got... I think we, we're okay on fish. We're definitely okay on wood. Or are we? It says we're good on food and water. Housing conditions are good. Decorations, not so much so. Can I get a decoration in here? Or would we rather have like a church? Let's get a church. Or where can we slap a church down? Right here. Good stuff. Okay. So we'll have that second well built. And we'll have some other things. I'll have to worry about bandits. Hopefully that part doesn't screw me over. Oh, farm stock is full. So I'm going to take that down. We need... Um, we need extra carriers. So I'll probably build some more houses, too. Having two carriers should should help with the uh, supply issues, at least a little bit. And uh, I've still got one extra person, so now we can get back to working on the the uh, the church. I will say though, I think for the for the future, I'm definitely going to uh, turn on OC Remix instead of listening to the game soundtrack, because currently this is uh, listening to the fast forward. Uh oh. Listening too fast forward is not 
not my uh, cup of tea. Also, apparently we're low on stone. That's a problem. Is this? Okay, just needs lumber. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna take you off this. And... Move you over to here. We're almost out of money. We are, in fact, out of money. Requires Thaler. Well, we're poor. Do we just throw prestige at it, or do we just not care? I don't know. I mean, we like have, we have like a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm screwed. I think I might actually start over. Well, that's okay. We're 35 minutes in, and I, I think I am actually going to, um, I think I'm actually going to keep playing this game. Just not this, not, not in this version of Dumpton, because holy shit, we're, uh, oh, okay, good. Uh, holy shit, we're doing poorly, <laughs> uh, to be totally honest. You know, I'm, I'm okay with it. There, there are definitely like, uh, there are definitely problems with this game. Uh, the, the whole mobile portage is, you know, always has kind of a, uh, its own set of issues. But apart from that, it's not actually a bad game. It's just, it's a little bit shallow and I'm probably only going to play like, you know, a handful of episodes of it. Just, just to the point where I have like a sustainable system. And then to go on. Because honestly, there are better games than this. There's Lethys, which I mentioned. There's, uh, I mean, even better, I would say Banished and, um, oh shoot, Rimworld. Banished, Rimworld, and Prison Architect? I mean, Prison Architect's a bit of a stretch, but it's still kind of in the same vein of, like, town management sims, even if that's a that's a prison. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still enjoyable, it's still interesting, it's got a nice style to it, and it's pretty easy to pick up and learn. Uh, and I like that. I like that a lot. But I guess for now... Uh, it's a good stopping point. So if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see any more Townsmen, uh, let me know in the comments below. Because, yeah, I'm probably going to do, like, one sandbox playthrough. And that, that's probably going to be good enough for everybody. Especially with the sheer number of games that's coming out this freaking week. I don't even know. Anyway, so, I guess with that, I will see you guys on the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.